Hello, welcome to the Shed Shack Lab and today we're going to build a CB dummy load. Okay, so we've got our two 5 watt 100 ohm resistors that we're going to use in parallel to uh, make our 50 ohm and then we've got our PL259 connector uh, some heat shrink tubing and just a bit of connecting wire to uh, to join the resistors up to the, uh, the center contact. Okay, so I've twisted together the uh, the wires on the two resistors, and uh, I'm just going to add on a bit more wire to this end so it'll uh, actually push through the PL259 and go to the other end because the leads are not long enough. I'm just going to solder this on and then we can uh, cover it with uh, heat shrink anyway. Just make sure that fits through. Yeah, that'll be okay. So what we'll do is get some heat shrink on that. See if this one will do. Should be okay. So I've just snipped that off just so it covers um, covers it up to the inside of where it goes through. Stop it not to uh, make sure it doesn't connect on the inside. I think that should do it. Good as it would be in a bit longer. Just use the other piece or I'll cut off. Just going to tack this in position. Probably an easy way to do this, but uh, as normal, I'm finding the hard way. It's just got it a second. Just going to add a bit of flux, 
so it flows in a bit. I'm going to put some, uh, some more solder in just to drop a liquid flux. Which is going to smoke a bit. But I find it um, helps, especially with these PL259s, to um, to get the wire to grip, uh, well, to solder a lot better. I'm just going to snip the end off. I'm just going to put a bit more solder on the end. So that's uh, that end fitted. Now to do the other side. Right, as you can see, I've taken that apart again because I've got to put a bit of uh, shrink tube in on first, which is going to cover the rest of the wire and also uh, shrink onto there. So hopefully. Um, that's the wire protected. I could have left it like that, but uh, I just wanted that uh, that stray bits of wire protected, so um, there's no chance of a short. So it's just a case of putting a, a bit of shrink cheaping on there, and um, putting the wire back in. is now playing games but uh, yeah that'll be okay when it comes through just need to shrink it down a bit first So that's shrunk down a little bit first. I can uh, get solder the end back on now. A bit back to front there. Hopefully you won't make the same mistake I did. But it's always the case, you always forget to put a bit of shrink uh, tubing on or um, you know the outer of a an audio plug you forget to put on before you solder on so always going to end up doing that sooner or later actually that's just uh, crossed my mind that um, I'm going to have to remove some of that shrink tube to attach these two wires so there you go so I didn't think that one out too well either but um, okay let's take it from there Okay, so what I've done here is uh, attached a wire from the top of the uh, resistors there and soldered it onto the outer case there. Um, that seems to do the job. Uh, just put a bit of uh, shrink tubing on there as well. And uh, yeah, soldered, soldered it on that way. Um, I'm going to probably put a piece on the top as well. Let's see if we can get that to fit on. I'm hoping, I don't know where to leave it open actually to let the heat uh, disperse. Hopefully, I'm going to be using this on 4 watts anyway. Um, 
like I say, it's just for CV. So, and for short periods of time, it's only for testing. So, um, yeah, I might just leave that open. Um, might let the heat out a bit. I'll, I'll check for see whether it gets warm. If not, um, I'll put some uh, heat shrink over the top. But uh, I think it might be best to leave it open. So uh, yeah, we'll give that a go anyway. We'll uh, we'll plug it in and, and give it a try. So I've got it uh, attached to this old York. Uh, CB, it's old uh, JCB863, um, which is another job on the list, but that's another thing. So, yeah, I've got it set on here, and uh, I'm going to transmit. As you can see, it's uh, showing four watts, um, and uh, They are getting warm, so I'm going to lift the, leave the heat shrink off that, and uh, for a short period of time, and up to five watts, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Like I say, it's only just for a, a dummy load for uh, testing purposes when I uh, sort out some of these CBs on transmit. Um, I've got another dummy load which is higher rating. That's uh, that's another one I made up in one of the videos, but this is just to uh, I've plugged into another radio for. For receiving just in case I do hit but transmit by mistake on that radio so that's all that really is for but I'm sure it'd be ideal up to up to four watts for your uh, your basic 2781 FM um, CBs here in the UK um, so yeah that's it anyway from me um, hope you find that useful it's uh, it's probably only about three or four pounds really to make um, so Hopefully it does the job for that purpose. Um, and um, yeah, I'm sure that uh, it's better to go to a higher rating um, wattage for the uh, for the resistors if you can, if you're going to make a dummy load. But um, for the purpose I need it for, um, which is mainly going to go on, on the receive radio, um, yeah, it should, do, it should do the job anyway. So yeah, it's all from me. Uh, please subscribe, like and uh, we'll catch you soon.